Um, so yeah, so I've been working on these new pieces now, and it's kind of uh, an offshoot of, of many different series that I've worked on previously. And so the materials are like, I guess you could say non-traditional in the sense that they're kind of things that um, a human, like a, a woman or even a man would, would maybe coat his body in or her body in. So things that would, you know, dye the skin or dye the inside of the body, things that you ingest, things that you coat yourself into, like transform your appearance. So I sort of thought like, you know, why not <clears throat> use those materials that we, that we use to, to, to create these new forms, these new transformations, these new hybridizations of a kind of body, but a kind of um, an affected body, a, 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 a diseased body. But so, so I'm using materials like, you know, Pepto-Bismol and red wine and things that stain the inside of the body, but then that sort of brought me to a certain point and then I started thinking about the things that we put on ourselves like coat ourselves into transform the outside of our bodies so like hair dye and um, nail polish foundations self tanners like all of those kinds of things that we would put on our skin to change our appearance so I'm just really building new I'm building representations really of women or humans but from a very subjective kind of perspective because obviously not everyone uses these products not everybody would even ever go to a certain you know to boots or wherever to a pharmacy and buy these things so it's like a it's a obviously quite a um it's it's like a it's a a certain demographic so i'm using things that ex sort of using the products that people, like certain people who I grew up around and influenced me, but I also had a sort of mi misidentified with, you know, like I didn't really understand those things and why someone would necessarily use them. So I, like it was kind of a misidentification with these things that, that women use to transform themselves to be more p palatable, kind of. Um, and so it made sense to me somehow that instead of using paint or like, um, I don't know, other materials that are just in an art supply store, made more sense to me to like, if I wanted to kind of manifest all of these experiences of women growing up and seeing like that this is what a woman should be somehow then then I should use those things that they use to make them again but to make them with all these other influences like bringing in um, I don't know you know different references and different um, kind of pop cultural historical literary references like fuse that together with all of these different products and these different things that I appropriate um, materially to create like a hybrid, like I was saying before, like a hybrid of, and a new form, and some, somehow like I feel like it's all very, <laughs> um, you know, derogatory, like there's all these derogatory things um, that relate like women to animals somehow, and these kind of urban dictionary slang terms, like calling a woman, uh, uh, slam pig, for instance, uh, it means like a girl that you kind of hook up with and she's really not, you wake up in the morning and she's kind of like, oh, what did I do here, you know? And it's like relating or, or like calling a woman a chick or a bird or a hen, hen do and stuff. And so I was thinking about these different terminologies that kind of create women into, t turn women into uh, uh, animals. Um, and but then I was also thinking about like the histories of like mythology and women as you know Medusa with the snakes and you know Artemis is this half um, horse and so like somehow there there is like a kind of ret like a retribution and um, and so and so to to use all of these really derogatory terms and materials to recreate a kind of um, 
new form, but like a powerful version of it, you know? So it's like, yeah, that, that's all very derogatory, but somehow through using all of those things that you're saying, you're putting on us, like saying, that's you, I'm like, okay, that's us, but let's make something of that. Let's turn it into something much more powerful, much more confident. And, and so, yeah, it has that kind of like, um, it's, it's like, but somehow it, the works still appear slightly grotesque, but it's like within uh, a new, like you look at, you look at the works and you're like, that is not a shrinking violet, you know, that is like a bulldozer basically. So that's kind of the way that I approach making work.